There's the tap taken by McNeil and Ohio State. And Jim Nance, Grant Hill, right now. The Bulldog is going to go to the tournament. And they've won five of their last six. What a surge here at the end of the year. And open up with a three from the top of the key, and it's way off the mark for Akpara. All right, now the Purdue Boilermakers. They've been very active, playing well of late. Gillis, obviously, two guys making some threes. Nice pump. From the wing, the three drops. How about that? Newman hits the opening shot for the Boilermakers. Defense Newman. on the ball is generally tough as well, Grant. Talk about Newman having the task here guarding Thornton. Probably the best perimeter defender for the Boilermakers. Ohio uh, State will control tempo. Fatigue a factor, lack of depth a factor. There's a lot there. Ready. Oh, and Akpara takes it. The feed from Thornton, who made the play. And smart to put Zach Eady in screen and rolls. Obviously, Akpar has to be active. Great finish. And, and normally you'd love to run him, Grant, but this is not going to be a running game for Ohio State. They, they might even be more slow and deliberate with the injuries that they've had to Sensabop in particular. His lawyer. Well, they get him going. It's certainly going to help. Early in the year, knocking him down. A little bit of a struggle. Maybe a fatigue factor hitting the wall, Jim. Well, he averaged 12 a game, and there have been people that have suggested that. But uh, he's able to hit his opening shot. They've hit two threes here in the first minute and a half. And both brothers can drill it, right? Foster as well. Uh, offensive foul here on the cut. Guys, you talk about lawyer, just a great relocation, wide open three, and you said it. He's been struggling 0 for 9 from the field in the last two games, but big time shot right there, and the three point shooting so important because it gives Edie space inside to operate. You right. mentioned lawyer's brother, Foster, at Davidson, formerly at Michigan State, and there's a travel call against Purdue. You didn't have too many of them, though. You miss every shot you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you used that on Coach K, right? It really went over well. <laughs> Thornton. That's again, same kind of a play. No get... one there this time. So here's a shot outside. And the long rebound almost grabbed by Suing. It was McNeil who fired it and missed it. Yeah, he's got to make some. Loosen things up. And this kid can turn it on, Smith. Uh, you are shaking night when he's that close to the hoop. Banzini with a little hook over Akpara. You know, the one limitation he has, he doesn't have much arc on his delivery. He, he doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're looking down at the basket, how much arc do you need? Oh. Uh, it's very tough. There's so many things you can do, and then none of them work all the time. Nice follow. Wow. Nice follow. Akpara at the rim. What a tap that was off the Thornton drive. That's one thing in keeping Edie active, too. you got to help on that little dribble drive. My park can sneak in. Back to Edie they go in the paint. He's got another one. And that's just too deep right there. Two plays and possessions in a row where Edie gets great position. And Ohio State opting not to trap right now. Yeah. Maybe Edie save one on one. You think saving it? Probably. A little dig, anyhow. These teams played twice during the regular season. The first one was a two point win back in January by Purdue. And then the Boilermakers blew him out a couple of weeks back, 82-55. Now the drive and the shot. And a foul called against Purdue. Here's Smith. Driving past Gale, now shut down. Back to Edie, and off the glass, too strong. Made a nice little move down low. Sure did. You know, Grant, also, our power maybe not trying to foul early. Let him have his way a little bit, save that situation. A little slip, trying to move him around. Over to Suing from the wing. He likes that spot. And, and that's the guy that has to get going. He helped Ohio State against Michigan State get off to a great start. Eight of their first ten points. Too good, too talented, and too important for the Buckeyes. It's a little dribble handoff they love, and look at this. Just say good night. Yeah, he's not going to miss it this time, and a foul. Wow.
sure Kenny appreciates a nice little dump down first at the rim. Wow. That's why he's a great offensive rebounder, too, because if you ever double the big guy, he slips in there. But Blakely's really appreciative of all the donations you've made for the program. <laughs> yeah. Nice pass. Bob and add another conversion by Akpara. Very active, too. Slipped around as Edie caught ball watching. Likely with the assist that time. And Morton on the floor now. And really a terrific defender. This kid lights it up too. My Woo. goodness, he's a confident performer. Chesty kind of a little guy. Can put it on the deck too and create. And Mr. Indiana basketball last year was Braden Smith. And they retired his jersey this year. Grant's got about five that have been retired. <laughs> Likely skips it all the way over to the other side to Gale, and he's got a Buckeye three. Well, and they found the player here, Grant. That's your guy right there, playing with confidence here in this tournament. Again, he hit all three from the outside yesterday in the upset win over Michigan State. Oh, nice. That's got to be a foul, and it is. Why me, coach, is probably what Eugene said. I'm going to play Edie. <laughs> we'll, we'll expect Ohio State to double-team Edie on the catch. Purdue. At least on the bounce. Uh, a little late and look at first. Is Whoa. First. Well, he's been double teamed all season, Edie. So comfortable finding the open man and doing a great job there finding first. He's a big time recruit first, too. A lot of people want him, including Michigan State. Got a couple of dunks already, thanks to Edie. Good ball movement. From the corner. That's another three by Gale. And suing with the nice extra look. Get them organized. Ready. They like that circle the wagon around that double high. That's a foul, and that's a second four out of five from three is Ohio State. Three for three from outside is Purdue. Uh, Eugene Brown talking about disappearing. You could not even see him behind there. Uh, he does force a little deeper catch. Underneath again, first with a third basket off the bench. And I've been impressed with his activity, his energy. He started a bunch this season. As Gillis has started here in the tournament, but first, uh, his activity and energy. And he can, bite, he can bite you outside, too. They're very good without the ball, knowledgeable. Suing has first on him. Just elevate. There it is. There's the elevation. Oh, well, that almost dropped. Uh, State really with great balance. They're not going to give up any easy one. This kid, they love him, Jenkins. Good at getting in the lane, can make some shots, has been around. There's Edie off the glass. Yeah, Jenkins yesterday hit three from the outside in three attempts, had 12 points against Rutgers. Ohio State with great pace, too. Yeah. Like he's so good. He's done this now twice. And both times he's set up on the opposite side. Gale to hit a three, his third here in the opening minutes. And Raft, I mean, likely is just backing down, baiting the double team and finding Gale wide open. Purdue maybe not want to double team so soon on that play. Jenkins, two on him, and a charge. They also have a great class coming in next year here at Ohio State as well. They got a great AD there. Gene knows what he has, too. Nice little drive and some strength. Boy. Oh, likely plus one. <laughs> Ohio State has its first lead as we go under 12. Right ran on the floor. He's a different look. He's got a power game, but can step outside, too. Nice first. That was likely who denied five to shoot. Newman wanted to step back. Instead, the shot, yes. Oh, it's a charge. And I'll tell you, Raph, textbook defense by Ohio State. And right now, most people figuring that Kansas, Houston, and Alabama are locks as one, and maybe it's either Purdue or UCLA for the fourth number one. Well, they had a pick and pop at the top for Brown. He gets it late. Good drive. Wow, what a move. He's got some game, this kid, really. Oh, Explosive. And this and Georgia, big time sending it in. That was big time indeed. 13 to 4 run here by the Buckeyes. That was explosive. 
Oh, they got some, for help. They've got some confident players, Jimmy. They all can do some damage. Jenkins, turn around. The shot is there. Back to the rim. Tapped around, and it's into the hands of Likely. And Raph, this small ball lineup working wonders on both ends of the floor. The spacing offensively creating opportunities, and Ohio State's picking them apart. And they know they have to play together, too. Both teams shooting over 65%. All about chemistry, too. These kids hung together during tough, tough shot here, but why? Ooh, good rundown, long threes. As Brown who kept it alive. And that's Gale now four for four. Oh my goodness, this team playing with the utmost confidence. Chasing things down, hustling, scrapping. And all of a sudden, Edie back at the scores table. Get it down low. Turn and face. Pop the rim. Get called for a charge, but with that last break, this time able to draw it. That hung on the rim for a while. But how about what we're seeing out of Roddy Gale? And he is on fire right now, just confident that spot there and the awareness of his teammates to know that he's shooting the ball well, making sure that they get it to him and feeling good on both ends, these Buckeyes. Second foul on Brown. Two free throws coming. Buckeyes lead by seven. And miracle run it was for Valvano's bunch winning the championship. First time, I, first time I saw an adult cry at a ball game. <laughs> that was that was, uh, that, was uh, that was a young adult. A little nickel dimer, Newman with the tag. Back out to Thornton, who's come up so big here in the last few weeks. A nice job by Akpara. Uh, gave that easy look on the drop defense by Edie. On the floor, and who's going to be the aggressor here? It's a tie-up, and it's going to stay at this end. Coach Holtman's team was able to withstand they were two and seven in January, one and seven in February. Had a stretch of losing 14 out of 15, and yet they've rebounded. There it is, Edie. That was wildly thrown off the glass. Well, they are pushing them just a little bit. There's some presence, with some physicality. Ohio State, the stench of that game, February 19th, still around and trying to atone for that when they lost. 82-55, and that's blocked. Morton, such a great defender. Morton, unbelievable. And that rattles out. Trying to pick up the pace just a little bit. Great balance by the Buckeyes. With it back outside and throws it away. A little too deep without anything. He's got to spin dribble and get it out of there. It will be inbounded here to likely, but you're just extolling what Thornton has done in the last 80 minutes here at the Big Ten tournament. He has not turned it over, Bill. He's had 13 assists and no turnovers as it comes out to him, and he gets it quickly over to Suing, and he buries another three for Ohio State. And that's just off the penetration. Likely. Creates the turnaround, the seek, the peak, right on the money. Back out to Gillis, whips it inside, nice pass. And Purdue likes to enter the ball into Edie from the top. It's hard to double team from there as opposed to the side. Matt Painter, so many sets to get Edie the ball. Who's fatigued when you're playing with this kind of confidence? It's Absolutely. Likely. on Gale, he has been flawless. Four for four, back on the floor. This is the little snake dribble they love. Uh, just a little bounce pass, maybe. Uh, that's what the big guy can influence. We're trying to feed it to Akpara, but Edie able to steal it. Their first turnover in the last 11 minutes. And Ohio State, Lawyer knows where to go with it. There you go. 
Great uh, patience there by Lawyer. Just waiting for the opening to open up there. Edie, once again, just plants in that paint. Can't hey, move him. Hey, you don't have to be a lawyer to figure out where to go either. <laughs> <laughs> no fee involved. This play right here is worth likely isolating yeah. here. He's so good at that play. Look at that one. Powerful. I mean, he's got maybe, I'd say, 20 pounds on Smith can really bully him at that rim. Again, he played a 104 game, 114 games with the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Nice pump, and he can shoot it. If he gets it going, boy, it'll be a different look over the top here. Edie with the put back and the foul. One of his weapons there on the glass, Zach Eady. His legs, by the way, you do not move him. He is entrenched when he settles. I think you got to get him in some screen and roll, get him moving on defense. I think that's why Brown is out there. Good call. Suing. Nice replace. Get available. In the corner with Edie eyeing him. Trying to go baseline. It's not there. Good footwork. Hey, look at the big fella moving. Gale had it knocked out of his hands. And here comes Purdue. Uh, wait for the franchise. There he is. Right of first refusal is what they call it. They got to go to him. And that is off Purdue. Ohio State ball. Same play, kick back. Circles around, nothing there, and gives it up. Once again, Brown, Chris really riding this play, and you can't blame him. One second to shoot. <laughs> Got it away in time, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Edie has 10 points so far. I, I can understand both cases, you know. He's paying taxes in Chicago in that three-second lane on occasion. <laughs> but why not? Foul before the shot. And we talked. Look, look, look at look at Gale down there fighting against Edie. Almost got caught with an elbow. And obviously right there, likely blocking his shot. But you see Ohio State swarming him every time he gets the ball. And you're right. How do you officiate that? 305 pounds. He's so big. He probably endures more contact than anybody. Look at those wheels, too. You going to move him? Not at all. One and one. <laughs> and this is a second straight free throw. Scrappy Ohio State, though. Loose, active. Put Brandon Newman on likely now. A little bigger. Stronger can't push him and back him down like the smaller guards. Just dribble in. Ooh. Oh, that might be a first turnover for Thornton in two and a half yep. games. Yep. Looks like they gave it to Brown. Yeah, Brown's looking at I didn't sign up for this. Look at him down the low post. He's hip high here. They got the big roll. They love that dribble handoff. They give it to him. Back to first. Is he going to dump it? Nope, he's going to shoot it. Lost it. Good defense there by Suing. It's out of his hands on the way up. They can get Suing going a little bit too on this end. Thornton. Suing. That setback. Yeah, well done, but the shot's not there. And Newman with the rebound. Stutter step takeoff by Smith. Jumper, yes! He's got some moxie. Oh, bodies tangled with Edie falling on top of the Ohio State defender. Right back they go to Big Zach. They hit three early threes, did Purdue, in three attempts. They haven't attempted one since five minutes into the game. A little zone look. Well, there's that little discard legally, by the way. Well, look, he said, let everybody know he got slapped and hit. <laughs> well, likely trying to get into his legs with his strength. Ends hey. up being a six-point possession for Purdue to take the lead at 33-31. Holding on the floor, one of those kids drives it. Can jump a passing lane on occasion on the other end and a pull-up. 
Gale. Still hasn't kid? missed. This kid loves the moment, huh? Found themselves a big time performer looking forward. He's just topped his 15 point effort of yesterday, which was the high scoring effort of his freshman season. He's got a new mark 16 and a half. Newman with a three. That's the first miss from the outside of the game for Purdue. That little zone look. Got to be careful. Oh, that didn't feel good. And that's it. Oh, he got it. Newman got it. Uh, great anticipation. It's Jenkins. Back they go. ED. One more time, one more basket. Uh, they fronted, and the pass was so high uh, you couldn't negate. And likely is hurting a little bit running back, limping. I'd be hurting too, trying to fight the big fella inside. He's got 16 of the Boilermakers' 35. I There's that Gordon. I take the two, so good play, good look. And drop D, make him pay. Ohio State, you got a double team inside. Oh. Jenkins, who was on fire yesterday, hits another one from the outside today. And they just love this kid's charm as well as his ability to understand when he was recruited, you're going to have to fit in and run the show. Under two minutes to go in the half. It's Thornton smother coverage by Newman. And now suing with five to shoot. And that's a five count. Kill has forced it. And they. Now, because of Edie, you forget how well this team does defend Purdue. Uh, lawyer hit the floor. What an outlet you have here to be a help. They will bite with a nice look. Jenkins. Takes going up with it. Now they're going to get it to the man they want. Edie. Well, he had a kick out to Newman wide open in the corner. That's what makes them tough and opens things up, particularly for a guy like Gillis of late. Talk about the physicality of the Big Ten right here. To set and screen, Lawyer knocked over. The refs allowing them to play. Understanding what's on the line, but look inside. <laughs> Edie's wide open. You can't even see the I defender guess. behind him. Unbelievable. Didn't pick up a basketball until the 10th grade, Edie. And he only picked it up because he used it as cross training for baseball. He was a baseball and hockey player. Could you imagine up at bat with him looking at you? Yes. Now, look who finally missed, Gale. That's his first miss of the game. He's been a revelation, no question. Jenkins on the drive. And he's going to stay at this end with 43 seconds. That's a reach around, unlikely. Number two, I believe. That's got a little of his humor, too. Dry and sarcasm. Oh, yeah. Played for him. I'd like to see Coach K to get in the Hall of Fame one of these yeah. days. He's in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. He's up once again for the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame. Wouldn't be surprised. This, this might be the year. Let's hope so. Final 20 seconds of the first half. Look at Likely trying to take the big guy. He does, too. Well, come up empty. Well, that was influenced by that size. He had to shoot over, and now the last shot belongs to Purdue. That's nice Jenkins in his moments. Well, he hurried it. But he buried it. And how wise was Edie with that ball screen? He just stopped after half court. Not in time. Ooh. Pass. Should have taken the half court heave, but what a finish to the first half. Saw his team at the back end of a 16 point swing over the last eight minutes. But here we go. McNeil has the ball. He was stalled early with two fouls. So not a factor in that first half. There are others who picked up the slack, though, like Gale. Uh, they need him, though, Jim. He can open up the D a little bit for some drives the way he shoots the ball. Look at this matchup. Here's Thornton. He didn't see the rim with the big guy. And what about Thornton in that first half, Grant? He really struggled. 0 for 4 from the field, didn't score. He likes to do his damage in the paint, but it's tough with Edie's presence in there defensively. Nice show. Aquara and a recovery. Great fault. Great shot fake. Tapped up. No. I can't give them second chances. That's a no-no. And as they reach around on suing. His dad by the same name, Justice. Come over from the islands to watch his son here at the Big Ten tournament, which could be the end of a really solid college career. 
Well, look at that wide open. He's in the lane a lot. Well, he just stepped out. They do cut well for him, or they spot up. Now forget about it. Yeah, this I'll time take over with the left hand. And Edie now with 19. You can't speed him up at all. It just takes his time, very patient. And I've been impressed at how he reads the defense, Rav. Solid kid, really a good teammate as well. Buckeyes have missed their last five shots. As now going back to the start of the uh, end of the first half, it's an 11 nothing run. I like this. Use the screen, maybe get a, an open look. And the Duncan's not going to work, and they got to reach in. It's going to be on Newman. Newman. He saw four players around him, but he just took his time and gave what the defense or took what the defense gave him. Again, look at the pressure they can assert. They are a good defensive team on a nice drop. They, but maybe got a hook there on Smith. The same thing, little that's one worth trapping, but they don't do that with the big guy. Oh, what a shot. That they, is McNeil. They can make shots. So it was Virginia being able to do it. Can light it up. He's got some range. Yep, thousand point score in his career at West Virginia. Oh, that's too easy. That tap back out to Gillis and suing with a hand in there. Second foul call against Suing. That last basket at the other end by McNeil broke a five minute field goal drought. Pinned down. And there's McNeil trying to save it. Throws it into the backcourt. He's very good with the lob in this situation. Back out. Lawyer gets the feet set. Well, he's had some looks too. Falls out of the hands of Edie. And now the wing, Thornton. He's off the mark. He's I, I like. Pushing the ball though, Jim. Thornton 0 for 6 from the field. Yeah, he's struggling. But then we get a good clean look before the big guy settles in there. How about that little floater? And that kid right there has some moxie, some confidence. Floater from the elbow. Dangerous time right now for Ohio State. See if Suing can get going just a little bit. Here's the pin down for McNeil. The load up for suing. Gale. Lifty ball handling and a reach in foul called on lawyer. I still can't believe he played baseball and hockey. Yeah. <laughs> Did he play tennis also? Played a little bit of everything but basketball until five years ago. That's that slapped out by Newman. A good jump in a passing lane. Yeah, it all happened kind of fast. He, again, it was just cross training, decided. Play a little bit of uh, basketball and it says six months later he was at the IMG Academy. His whole life had changed. And what was interesting talking to Matt Painter, he really sought out Purdue. Saw the legacy of great bigs, college bigs playing there, wanted to be a part of that. Almost got Dickinson first though. What a break for him in a way. Not that Dickinson has had a great career in Michigan. One to shoot. McNeil. <laughs> what a shot it is to beat the clock by fractions. And Morton with great defense though. Shake your head and go to the other end. Smith. Outside, it's Edie. Yeah, it's they right back. That. I love that little triple exchange, and the little guy leads to three. He's going to have a great career, this yeah. kid. He averaged 10 points, four assists his freshman year. Shooting at 41% from three as well. Purdue with his largest lead now, double digits at 11. McNeil thought about the step back, but Morton was on him. Yeah, he is a great defender. Five to shoot outside. Akpara tapped out. It's Smith. Got two on four, and here's a trailer. Newman. Good decision. And a reach in on McNeil, his third. Touched by the Bucks. Edie averages 13 rebounds a game. He's got four today, all of them at the offensive end. And a slip two to the rim. Yeah. 
set a screen. Try to free Smith. Goes to the other side to Newman. Working on McNeil. Oh, he had it. Paint, turn around, yes. Kids have that shot, though. He does. He made it, he made it a little harder for himself with that spin on that play, but a beautiful shot. Iowa well, State's going to have to figure out how to manufacture some points here now. Likely. They got two on him for a second. Dribble drive and kick maybe on a cage. Nice little freeze play there. Gale playing. I like this kid. With soaring confidence. Now six of seven from the field. Five of them threes. And he's got 18 for the game. That's his first two-point bucket. Newman who just hit one. And they try to get that. Foot's on the line, by the way. How about two that? shot. He has stepped up at the end of the year. All of a sudden, they got a nice rotation. They get Lawyer going, and they will only be better. Ohio State going without Thornton at the moment. As Akpara gives it up to Gale. Got a score, really. They were, at that point, dangerous. Under five. Likely. Has to go back out. Suing knows he has to take it. Long rebound out to Smith. He's going to wait. Great field. And I'm open. Two on him. Sets up Gillis. From the side, short on the three. Great balance, too. Nothing easy. Jake Dibbler, John's brother on the sideline there. Chris John, great player. Gale circling around. Gonna take the shot over Edie. Pretty good challenge, too. To Grant's point, he's got mobility. And, and Edie also, he doesn't foul. As a no. big guy, he doesn't get in foul trouble. Knows how to be big without being too physical. He's gotten so much better at that. Forget about it. Years, and there he got two more. There's the slip. No weak side attention. Uh, too big a show and no recover. Likely with Morton again following. Akpar will try it. Not there. Not much going to work. Purdue threatening to blow this wide open. Here's the lob. Pretty good try it gathered, wasn't it? <laughs> you said it, with this small lineup, you'd think they'd play fast, but that's just not uh, how Ohio State plays. I think Jim has alluded to it, too. How do you do that after day after day? I mean, it's very difficult anyhow. Jenkins. Short on the shot, and that's going to belong to Ohio State. And of course, with your attitude, at some point you would have said to the coach, I didn't sign up for this. I'm not going to that big guy. <laughs> Maybe Thornton will get his first points right here. Yes. There you go. Three-pointer. Chris, so enthusiastic on that sideline. Marvelous how he kept his balance, his team's balance. He's played some really rough going. Pass. Deflected, short on the shot. And just moved him out just a little bit. Extra step. Likely. As Lawyer hit the floor. And that shot is short by Holden. And back comes Purdue. Matt Painter telling his team, slow down. Clock is our friend. Let's execute. And I wonder where the ball will go. Just a, you are right. Oh, my God. Again, as Jim said, there's so many opportunities <laughs> at the rim. They call the, the, the pass to start off the possession to Edie, the right of first refusal. <laughs> you got to go there and then see what happens. Oh. Matt Painter telling us that yesterday. After that, it's usually pretty good. There's Thornton. And pulled down by Edie. Now one of Dunn's, too. Now with seven rebounds to go along with his 23 points. You have to maybe try to double team him on the catch or do something different defensively. Is their favorite play and he rolls into the lane. A little dribble handoff. Yes. And there it is, you know. Reach in, called on Holden.
They're trying to get this kid going. He's a terrific shooter. A pretty good set and call. Plenty, plenty room to attack. Sorry, this, Jim. This is the guy right here. He's got to get going. Trying to. Not able to convert from five. Underneath, Holden. And back out to suing. He's got a three instead. Nice find, two on the kick out. If you're Ohio State, David Jenkins, he's a guy that not afraid to hit big shots. And they do want to run different sets, but obviously rely on the perimeter more with Edie on the bench. Eugene with three. A little better matchup for him here. Red not bad either at that rim. Good job by first to keep the possession at this end of the floor. He gets after it almost two. Jenkins, not this time. As the hook shot doesn't go. That really big. On red, too. I think he's going to have a nice future here. Ohio State shooting better from three than two. Go figure. Uh, nine nine out of 17. Probably the influence of Edie in the low post, though. You're going to take it in a little giveaway by Jenkins. It was a big part of the reason why the Buckeyes took out the Spartans yesterday. They shut down Michigan State from the outside while they hit 10 out of 19. Oh, tough off the dribble. Wow. You had a better shot. You think with Thornton struggling from the field and Edie on the bench, Thornton would maybe try to attack, get to the paint like he's done so well the last few games. Now they're going to rest the big guy until less than the eight, maybe the media timeout. Turn and face. Still fighting for it. Hook shot. Oh, down and out. Good job. Para. Again, uh, I don't think they have the legs to push it, though. They'd be in a hurry. I think you got to get Thornton downhill. Richard Holden. And he gets in about 14 minutes a game. A little small change on first on the tag. He scored when he was at Cal. Mm -hmm. Double digit score starting his freshman year. 15 15 a game. Here he is again. Just hit a three a moment ago. Oh. Steps in and he gets fouled. Well, you got to jump on his left first. You know best. He's a lefty. One and one for Morton. There's Thornton. Puts it up high over Edie. Beautiful move by the freshman. Yeah, nice attack. That drop defense paid for. Yeah, seven point game. Ohio State. Love their, some rhythm. Yeah. Love their heart, this group. Where do you go when in doubt? Edie. Yep. That's where you go. Yep. <laughs> just, just to think he could have been Bobby Orr. <laughs> First field goal for Boilermakers in three and a half. Well, Miss Q. 25 for Edie. Morton, he can hit that shot. Nice rebound. A little late by Gillis, thought he had it. Well, Takes the bench off the bounce there, Morton. Ticky tack foul on Morton. Yeah, come, Newman coming right back in for him. Good defender as well. One and one miss. Thank you, Trace. Edie with the rebound. Yeah, big. Got to convert with the shot. The clock stopped. Gillis has been really quiet tonight. And then other guys step up. So it makes them difficult, I think. You can't key on one guy. Obviously, Edie. And force. There is Gillis who quickly snaps it down. Low. There's the counter, but he got the he foul. Go, thought he'd go with the left hook, though, which he does. I think he's got promise on that next level someday, whenever he. Decides. I, mean, I know the big man is supposed to make threes now. 
I'll tell you, he shoots the ball like that. He might need shooting threes down the road. <laughs> The whistle. Not a smart play right there by Newman. That uh, really helps, bells him out a little bit. How many threes do you think Edie's taken on the year? Uh, you, yeah. They can't look no. at your notes. No, none. <laughs> on now. None. None. That's correct. the possession on the long rebound and the tap out. Nice stands here. Horton who had 21 against Michigan State adds two more. Stay away from the big a nice little seal by Akpara too. Nine for Thornton all coming in this half. He's now gone 97 minutes the last 97 minutes of playing time without a turnover. Edie though the answer back. And to the other way Edie. He, he collapsed the defense. I think they got it. That's his 16th free throw. Pretty good looking throw. I huh? would do that. But it's a six point game. I think Edie, they're going to have to go back to him oh, yeah. inside of Paro with four fouls. Paro's got to do his homework as early as possible now. The lead had been 15 earlier in this half. Back to Edie. Hook. Oh, somehow it pops out. That's like just that extra nudge, extra step. Makes you pull that string a little bit. There's Thornton. Trying to bring it back on his own, and Edie has another rebound. He's got nine rebounds, eight of them coming in this half. Looks a little stressed now on Purdue. Who's going to take a shot? Foul on Thornton. How do you take the shot, but just move him just a little bit further out? That was a good contest right there, too, without fouling, but yeah. that was Edie's go to. Just couldn't convert. I love that, though. Just get him a little bit off their sweet spot. Make him a little bit more uncomfortable on the catch. Twenty nine for Edie. Great, great guy, too. Yeah. No simple play now. Miguel can elevate if he stays at home with him. Just give him a little room. Now elevate. Don't go too deep. Outside suing hit the side of the backboard. It's perilous territory when you get near the rim without a decision. Back screen to get ED to the blow. Oh, oh blow. wow. Smith. All the activity on the weak side and Smith that takes advantage strong side. Found that crease. I think also which Edie helped clear the path for. And a timeout called. You gotta do your work early defensively against Edie. There's that little back screen pinned down. The old, ooh, look at ooh, that. Collision. Now Suing gets back to his feet and is fouled by Morton. Not a good one either. Ohio State at the line, Suing to shoot two. The season's on the line right here. There was nothing else to play for for Ohio State other than an NCAA bid trying to steal one with a 16 and 18 record. I like that wrinkle there. Yep. Are you alluding to season on the brink? Ah, a little Feinstein action. Oh, trying to power through Suing. It looks like Smith got hurt too. His ability to make shots a little bit off his game of late, but he can be really important 
tomorrow if they win up to see and down the stretch in the NCAA is suing from way outside. And Edie didn't have to raise his arms to get that rebound his 11th. One more point for Big Zach and that will give him his seventh 30 10 game of the year. It's at 29 points. There's Newman three pointer. Well, they run some really nice action on the weak side. Keep you busy. End up with a shot on the strong side. Little curly cue. And McGillis didn't get it, but ran his route. Suing again. Puts it up. Bounces around twice, and Edie keeps adding to the stats. Raph, to your point, when Purdue is knocking down three-point shots, you got no shot. You got no shot. Edie playing like he does and shooting 50% from the three-point line. That's he loves it off the dribble. Not too many guys can do it. Newman just hit one from the far side. Look who the curl to the rim. Pretty play. And Edie's got 31. He worked for that offensive rebound. Akpara fouls out. And Edie now seventh game. Of the five, which are size offensive rebounds, would you say? <laughs> Maybe all of them. <laughs> Seven games for Edie with at least 30 points and 10 rebounds. Wow. He's at 32 and 13. There's Brown. He's showing some outside game. A little pick and pop. And, and they were so dominant during the regular season. Although struggled towards the end, losing a few games. There. They did. And by, by the way, uh, Purdue at home. That you win at Purdue, you've accomplished a great. Did you play at all in the ACC Big Ten battles there? Not, not at uh, Purdue, no. no. No, Chris might be afraid to go there. <laughs> Thornton with a nice save for Ohio State. They've got to do something in a hurry, and they've got a foul call that'll send Suing back for two more. The driving basket by Newman. Thank you for saying that, Rep. I've got to get my eyes and mind focused back on this game so I can get the words out. There's Gale with a nice shot. What a sign of the future for him today. Oh, stepping up. And it was interesting, Chris, saying you could see it in practice because others were more advanced. Uh, they will be back and just admirable what they've been able to do this team. Well, I'll tell you, to go through the losing streak that they went through and to still compete and have the spirit that bench has says a lot about Chris Holt Holtman yep. and his culture. Absolutely. There's a reach in Gale. He's got a charm about him, too. An ideal teammate, it looks like. Well, Holtman said that confidence trumps tired legs, and I'm not sure it was fatigue that was the difference as that's a foul on first. This would really be called a cameo. Back to, back to the inbounder, Gillis. Facing pressure. You mentioned Grant yesterday, it wasn't that easy against Rutgers trying to get it up. They well, do it was this. a 10 second violation, yeah. Now, there you go. Stolen for a moment by Newman and then Thornton bumped sent, into him. He stole it back. You don't want to bump into that kid. No. Wow. <laughs> That's 12 and a half, 15 overall for Newman. McNeil launch. Out to Thornton. Give him one more try. Top of the key. No. Rebound first. They're playing out. And Purdue is heading back to the Big Ten title game. For the fourth time in seven years, Purdue will play on Sunday at the Big Ten tournament.